I feel pain. I hurt. I open my eyes. I create. I conquer. I hold the power. I'm a thinker. I crave victory. I do not give up. I feel no fear. I fear no man. I'm an athlete, a warrior, an artist. Some of y'all been worshipped since you was in high school, so you don't really know how to grind. <laughs> like you talk grind. Like I, I love it. Like I go into the weight room. And y'all Welcome back to like, another edition of the College Two Pro I'm Players like, Platform like, Show. I'm your show host, Bo Marshawn. As always, we appreciate you stopping by and taking some time as we bring you the next generation of future NFL stars to you today. And one of the young men making their path towards 2015, the NFL draft in Chicago, is today's guest from Southern Connecticut, their standout defensive lineman, Carlise Taylor. Um, Carlise, we appreciate you sharing your Saturday with us. Uh, obviously, you're a very active man along the line. I mean, you show up in all facets. Um, have you always had that defensive mentality ever since you were a young kid? to talk about the grind, but you don't really know what the grind is like. I know what the grind is like. I started from the bottom. What is your bottom when you've been worshipped since middle school? You've been tall your whole life, big your whole life. They worship you so much now that you think it's about you. You don't even know what the grind look like. I'm from Detroit, homeless. Mama got pregnant with me at 17 years old. High school dropout. Took me 12 years to get a four-year degree. I'm coming now. It's in view. You finally made it to the big leagues, and now you want to cheer. First off, my man, I didn't know you were at the Rutgers Pro Day. I did not get the, the heads up, the hat tip there. I'm going to have to yell at your agents for that. But uh, I saw that you did have a very strong pro day. And uh, first off, uh, how did you wind up at the Rutgers Pro Day? I'm sure you had to pull some strings to do that. And second of all, uh, were you happy with your results? Um, yeah, I mean, it definitely, it definitely was a blessing to be there. I also want to thank the whole Rutgers University football and uh, Coach Cal Fluff for giving me the opportunity because that put me in the best position I possibly have coming from a smaller school. But um, basically, uh, in my agency, there's also financial advisors, and one of them being Mike Tish. Uh, he brought a friend, and I was during the meeting while I was in Florida training at TAP. He brought a friend who happened to be best friends with Coach Cal Flood, and so he and he's also his financial advisor. So during the time, he said he was he had he was going to have a, a, a dinner with Coach Cal Flood. He was going to bring a bio of me and also see if uh, he could get me in. And between that and a little bit of work from my um, agent Ray Barnell and uh, Jr., I was able to get in. Man, that was, uh, that was definitely a blessing. And no one man should have all that power. Yeah. The clock's ticking, I just count the hours. Yeah. Stop tripping, I'm tripping off the power. Uh, rumble, young man, rumble. Life's a trick, so sometimes we gon' stumble. You gotta go through pain in order to become you. But once the world knows you, you'll feel like it's only one you. One you. Now you got the power to do anything you want to. Until you ask yourself, is this what it's all comes to? Looking at life through sunglasses in the sunroof. But do you have the power to get out from up under? Fuck all these labels, fuck what everybody wants from you. They trying to act some wrong shit. Man, I think what? This kid, see that kid got me all fired up. You can just feel the enthusiasm when he speaks about the game you can you can feel that passion and you know i don't know if it's some, some of these guys have been doing it for so long he said he was kind of like a late bloomer but obviously the kid stood out and 
I love the 73 tackles from the defensive position. I mean, that's, you know, that's a very impactful number when you look at it. I mean, I mean, that's, you know, one, he's the first line of defense and what he's doing is uh, very, very important. So violent hands, physical kid. And like I said, uh, I heard some good things from the national bowl as well, but again, if you want more of him, not me. You got to check out Carly's table here on the C2P show. As always, we, uh, we appreciate you listening.